Hello Aquarius and welcome to my channel Mind's Eye and Inspiration. This is going to be a reading for you for the month of April 2022. I'd like to say thank you for all the likes and subscribes that I've received so far. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel then please do so. That way you won't miss any future videos that I release. Um, I'm going to put a, a link in the description box below to my sister's YouTube channel, Anything Spiritual. So once you've had your reading with me, check out the link below and go and see uh, what my sister says. Because she also does monthly readings for each star sign. Okay Aquarius, let's see what April 2022 has got in store for you. You've got the High Priestess card. Now this is in the place of your past. So you've been for a period of time where you've had to reflect on your thoughts and your feelings and what is going on inside you. What, you know, what are you feeling? What are you thinking about? What is your intuition telling you? Because the High Priestess, you can see this lady sat here in her chair looking in a mirror she's looking within she's looking inside herself so you've got the big moon in the background as well so the moon can also symbolize you know the darkness the shadows the unknown things that we're not aware of and the high priestess she's all about what is going on inside me so you've been for a period of reflection Aquarius and this is you at the moment and it's the ten of swords so the tens are about completion so again you've been through a struggle and this doesn't necessarily have to be um, a physical fight or a physical struggle this can be a mental struggle this is a general reading so it's going to mean something different for everybody but swords, swords do generally represent the mind and with the high priestess looking within at her thoughts and desires this feels more to me that a lot of this struggle has been to do with your mind that something has ended in your life and it's caused you a you know it's caused you some reflection it's caused you some time to think about it and you know that's what happens in life when a situation ends we then have that period of time where you're going back over things in your head could I have done this differently you know how could I have done this how could I have done that will I know next time how to, how to act but hindsight's a wonderful thing you know if we all knew at the time what we knew in the future we would be able to do things right the first time but we can't always so you've had this period of reflection this period of thinking things through now this card here is what's help or hindering you and it's the hermit card so to me the hermit card is searching for truth it's searching for answers it's searching for honesty so whatever this is this situation that's ended in your life you must have felt that somebody was possibly a bit dishonest towards you and you're searching for the truth you're searching for answers. You feel like, you know, there's more knowledge to come. You feel like you, there's still unanswered questions. So you, it's about searching this truth. But be careful, Aquarius, that you don't get so wrapped up in searching for this truth that it delays you from moving forward. And that it delays you from starting afresh and starting anew because you, you know, sometimes you're just so wrapped up in wanting answers that, you know, it, it stops you from moving on. So just be careful of that Aquarius, you know, that you don't stop yourself from getting over the situation or moving forward because you're so wrapped up in wanting these answers, wanting this truth. 
you've got the six of cups now the six of cups can represent family stability it can represent somebody from the past whether this be a friend or a family member somebody that you haven't seen for a long time could come back into your life in april aquarius it can also represent returning to childhood places memories from the past you know returning to places that were once important to you that once you lived in or spent a lot of time in so again it's about returning to the past memories of the past people from the past but emotionally it should make you feel much more settled much more stable because sixes are about stability after changes you know there's still going to be this part of you that feels left out in the cold the five of coins look there's still part of you that's going to feel that you haven't got the support that you need in April. You feel that, um, and it could be family members because it's with, you know, this card that represents family. So you could be left feeling in April, Aquarius, that there's certain family members that aren't supporting you, that aren't helping you with your cause and you're feeling a bit isolated and a bit alone, a bit left out. But the Five of Cups, it reminds us that not all is lost. Things aren't as bad as what you think they are or aren't as bad as how you feel that they are. You know, there are people that are supporting you. There are people that are behind you. Um, but because you just have these feelings in your mind of being so alone you can't always see the people that are there to help you and there is somebody there to support you your future looks a lot better Aquarius as we get to the end of April you've got the queen of wands there so as you return to the end of the month Aquarius you're going to have more enthusiasm you're going to have more energy you're going to start planning towards the future and you're going to have some good look. You know, you can see that little black cat there. And that feels to me like a bit of good look will come your way towards the end of April. And you really will have more energy. You'll feel more energetic. You'll have more get up and go. You'll have your mojo back. And you will be fighting a fit again. Let's pull another card over that. <laughs> You've got the Knave of Swords ready to start planning, ready to start tackling things. You'll have things being sorted. You know, you can see the wind blowing these things around in this head. So that's saying that this person's got lots of ideas. So you'll have lots of ideas at the end of April about moving forward. You'll have this new passion, this new desire, this new enthusiasm, and you'll have lots of ideas, whether they're creative ideas, whether they're ideas about home, work, life, whatever they are, towards the end of April, you're going to have more energetic, more ideas, and your creativity will be flowing. Okay, I've got some Power Animal Oracle cards here, Aquarius. So we'll just give those a shuffle. And then we'll pull one. Wow, Eagle Spirit, trust in your higher self. So trust that gut instinct you have. Trust those ideas that come into your head because that is, you know, that's from spirit. That's from the universe and they're helping to guide you and they'll put these little thoughts and ideas into your head. So when you get these little intuitive ideas, when you get these thoughts of this is a good idea or that's a bad idea, you get that pull in the pit of your stomach. Trust it, Aquarius, because that is the universe trying to help you. You know, an eagle flies high, it flies above everybody and it looks down and that's what you need to be doing. You need to stand back from the situation, step right, right back, as far back as you can and observe the situation because you'll see 
more of what's going on and then you might find this truth that you're searching for these answers that you can't find because sometimes when you're too close to a situation you can't see everything it's only when you step back and observe it from a distance like an eagle up high looking down you can see more you can see everything when you're down on the ground you can't see it all you're too close so take a step back be the eagle fly high look down observe the situation and see any bits that uh, that you couldn't previous previously see before Okay, Aquarius, I hope you are happy with that reading and I wish you have an amazing April 2022. Thank you for watching this video and I hope I'll see you again next month. Thank you for watching.